Hi everyone, Massive Dance here, and we have an eShop update. Sorry about last week, I was really busy at uh, work, and this one is a little bit delayed, but that's due to I've managed to pick up a new captured uh, voice, so we have this one. So, I missed last week, and I've started from Cartoon Network, because if you saw me, I've recorded this pre doing something. If you saw me, there's only the list view, and it's not great. So, you got Cartoon Network. Um, which has come out was like a retail game as well and then move on to perception this game I actually kickstarted myself and I interviewed um, one of the creators um, He worked on Bioshock um, I quite like the game, but I know a lot of people don't it's got quite uh, bad reviews And it has sort of been updated for the uh, switch if you want to check that out it's for a thing That was Monopoly from Ubisoft. It's for 30 quid though, but there is a retail version so you can kind of understand then you had the sports bar party game um, from Harmonix, 1350's got a demo, try to throw that. Then you obviously got more Neo Geo games. Wheels of Auroria, I really like the look of this, but it's had really bad reviews. It's 9 quid, so I may pick that up if it comes up in the sale. And then you got Ultra Chess, you kind of know what Chess Ultra it should be. Kind of, you all kind of know what that's going to be. Sparkle T Evo, this is a weird one, there's another game called Sparkle 2, which I believe I got footage of on the site and then you got this one spot called 2 evo more fight that is like a shooter game and uh, there's a review on Nintendo for that one it actually sounds really good it looks in sort of no manny sky so it's metro style you know from ubisoft eight quid that's actually well priced considering ubisoft's games like the monopoly are quite expensive farming simulator nintendo switch edition this is out before the other versions 38 pound so not too bad in price considering um, it's on the other version as well. Heroes of Monkey Tavern, there is a demo for this, it's 9 quid, it like, looks rather very old school. Sonic Forces and um, the digital bonus edition apparently, it's 35 quid. I have seen it for 30 uh, retail, so you might, and you can get like stickers and stuff for your um, Joy-Cons. Uh, Spell, Spell Spear, this is like a, uh, there's a game like that come out last year called Letter Quest. You obviously uh, spell um, stuff to move forward and longer the um, uh, word, um, the more damage it does. That was like 9 quid. And you got Koi Deluxe for Fiverr. Uh, I don't know what this one is, the Mirror of the Witch. It's got a kind of nice style to it. It's £4.50, but it was on pre download stuff like you can pre order games now and you can pre download. So I don't know why that was. That's that Tallow Mirror. I don't know what that is. Another Neo Geo game, Street Hoops, they're kind of like the NBA Jams and things like that, um, if you want that sort of thing. Uh, Rock and Roll Racing, Off Road Deluxe, a sort of micro machines type like game, but there's one coming again this year called Mantis Burst Racing, which might be worth looking instead. Octodad, 12 quid, kind of that. Snip Eclipse D, uh, Plus, it's got all the DLC on it. The DLC just come out, it's 26.98, a weird price, but it is available at retail, and I believe it's 25 quid. But possibly the big one of the week is Doom, 50 quid, looks pretty decent, and for the um, Switch, I've actually picked it up myself, I picked it up on PS4, because it was only a tenner, um, so yeah, it feels sort of bad, so I'm not supporting the Switch, but I am buying Skyrim, so which is a Bethesda game. Then we had Cat Quest, that looked uh, quite good in the RPG, and then Ben 10 for 35 quid. Um, again, a retail rare release, uh, current offers, um, so you got a few decent things on there, like Don't Knock uh, Twice, The Other Sparkle 2, Robonauts, and then into coming soon. Like you can see, you can pre down pre purchase LA Noir, uh, proceed to purchase, um, that's 45 quid, and that um, Maria game or whatever it was called. Um, you could do things. This is a new one that's appeared. Aces of a Luft Waffle Squadron, uh, something like that. Um, yeah, you got Rive, you got Ginger uh, on here. This is a 3D uh, platformer, so it might be uh, really good on the um, Switch, that sort of thing. Uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 2 is up there when you can buy it in the, um, on its own, or you can buy it with the Season Pass, or it's called the Expansion Pass for Xenoblade 2. Going into the States now. I think it's pretty much the same in the States um, as in uh, the Europe, I believe. Ah, yes, the big one is Hulu is now available in the States, which obviously lets you watch, you know, TV shows and stuff. Obviously, it's in the States, but hopefully that means Netflix and that, and Amazon Prime is all coming soon, because I really like, or uh, I want that on there. Uh, my Switch, I've thought a few times I could just have this Switch in tabletop mode and I can watch Netflix and, like, uh, Sort of bad. A few different things on offer on there, like that bold boy um, for a few dollars. 
and then coming soon this is uh, pretty much the same like Italy 2 is down there oh yes um they got Battleship Brigade and this is coming out um on the 20th I kind of like the mini game after you've got all the ingredients I don't like the look of the actual um the platforming that and the art style is a bit weird um so I'm not uh, sure if I pick that one up or not stick it to the mounds now on here to you know get and then it's tested grad on the bottom which is uh, confirmed that's uh, 20 quid or 20 dollars and then I've uh, we go into Japan I'll see what um, is available in Japan they've not had as many games come out as um, you'd think like there's no doom or anything um, but they have got the free Warriors games that will come out and they're all on offer and um, so if you fancy one of them I don't know if any of them have got English um, you know um, thing and, and then you've also got one of those other mystery games that have come um, from like the terrible graphics or something and then a few deals which are the free Warriors games and then whatever this game is I don't know what this is, it's 500 um, yen, so really cheap. It looks, if you go on across there, it looks a bit like a Fallout Shelter type um, deal. And then in there, coming soon, and I believe this is where we finish the video. There's this pretty thing, like Lego Worlds hasn't come out yet. Um, yeah, this is pretty much the same as ours. So yeah, this has been the Switch eShop update, and hopefully we can bring you footage of actual Switch games going forward. Anyway, I've been Master Das, and I'll see you again.